hip hop. Hip hop has been. I feel like you come from the purest form of hip hop. Mm-hmm. And I feel like, here, take some Hennessy. Cause you can't <laughs> I do say, do say, excuse me, salute, 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 And I, I'm, I'm going to say it for myself. I was in St. Thomas the other day, and my wife's friends pulled up, and they was playing some music. That was horrible. Oh, <laughs> shit. I mean, no, 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 no. It wasn't horrible. It was horrible to my tasting. Right. I'm a 46-year-old man. I'm married. I'm in love. Okay. I have children. And I don't want to be hearing. <laughs> okay. Okay. I was appalled. What song was that? Though? What song was that? That's what I want to know. In St. Thomas? What was no, 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 no. It wasn't a St. Thomas song. Okay. It was nowadays. It was, a, it was like a, a, it was, a hip-hop song. You know, yeah, okay. hip-hop. Modern. And when I was listening to these, these young woman lyrics. Oh, shit. Who was you talking about? <laughs> I am now the old man because I was saying shit like shoot up your block to make you know me. That shit is appalling. Right. But they told my huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You and have I, officially crossed that line. I can't say because as <laughs> soon as I say you, I gonna know what the fuck I'm talking right, about. Right. And by the way, I'm, I don't. I'm not offended of her, but I was just like, damn, it's so much vulgar music. Like if I have a kid right now, this I'm gonna tell my kid, do not listen to this. Okay, so, so so let me just remind you of what we listened to back then. Ooh, you we did have up. some vulgar music <laughs> yes, back then. Yes. Did we not forget? Luke, rap. Luke, do we not forget? Um, um, I mean, Little Kim and Foxy Brown right there. Mm. The, I, I, mean, the I mean, come on. It, <laughs> huh? They had good beats. Oh, they had great beats. Nigga said they got good beats. That was us. <laughs> but that was us. That was us back then. <laughs> <Yeah>. So... <laughs> You know, we do have to consider that we are older and our tastes have probably developed different in right. experience in life. Mm-hmm. And just some things is just not suitable for mm-hmm. you as mm-hmm. it was before, you know, especially right. that you have children now. Right. Different. Right. Um, but And that's OK. Uh, you know, we got to but we cannot front on the fact that. We had vulgarity in our in our music back. Then. I don't think it's vulgarity. It or, was vulgar. No, no, I'm not saying. I'm saying I don't think that's the issue. Oh. Maybe that I didn't even know "Push It" was a be, sexual song. Yeah, but, but when so, you, it wasn't. I mean, okay, it wasn't. let's talk about it. <laughs> let's talk about it. Hey, listen, I'm gonna be honest with you. What you think? 80s artists. Listen, I'm gonna be honest with you. 80s artists. Oh God. Exploited sexuality, but they did it in taste. That I later on in life caught on. Oh, they're talking about this. Like subliminals. It was subliminal. It wasn't. It yes. wasn't. Yo, I'm gonna fuck you in the ass. That's definitely it wasn't 80s. that. Like, <laughs> except till two life crew I, came I went through. Too far. I went too far. <laughs> I'm just saying. This is what they saying nowadays. They're like, hey man. I, I like that mystery. I like that mystery. You know that subliminal. Think of think of from a TV standpoint. Remember Three's Company? Yeah. Of course. How how they would have those subliminal jokes about sexual right. innuendos. You know. Right. Um. But it made you want to watch because it's like, you know, they're going to say something. It's right. going to be like, like that, that sexual, sexual tension. Like, yes. But so, nothing was ever said. Yes. But, you know, as an example for Push It, it was not a sexual song. We were literally talking about dancing on, on a, you know, the, the dance floor. And people took that and took it the other way. And it actually worked for us. So... I mean, I'm, hey. I don't believe you. you know <laughs> it's true. It's true. It's true. When I was young, I was like, oh. No, you <laughs> thought it was saying something else. You thought it was saying the words was really similar, you know. Um, but but teenage, teen, teenage I was a teenage hormones. Teen, like, I was a teen too. Right. Trust me. I was not saying that. I was not saying that. But people, I mean, gosh, we were almost arrested for that song. Like, Whoa. doing, yeah, like doing, like, being on stage and being told that if you play that song, that happened to us as well. If you play that song here, push you can it, get particularly. A, push it. Wow. You can get arrested. Wow. So there were times that that was almost the case. And somehow we got, you know, to a point where it was like, you know, we just had to convince everybody that this is not about what you think it's about. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. that is the truth. Jamie. Jamie. No matter, take it as you want. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So we interviewed. Um, who did we interview? And they said that they were getting threatened every night. 
a TK Kirkland. Mm-hmm. Uh, the the, the, the Eazy E. Yeah, and, he was on the tour with NWA. Right, yep. was, was that a similar situation? It was where... similar. And and trust me, it, it wasn't just NWA that was dealing with that. I'm sure there was a lot of artists uh-huh. that had that because back then, you know, there was, I don't know, there was no, um, there was no parameters. Right. So it was kind of like we were doing these songs and, and just creating this, you know, vibe and, and, and it sounded as if we were crossing a line. And for us, we were just girls having a good time, partying, doing our song. They thought it was something else. Right. And so, yeah, that happened with us. Which was common in the, here in the U.S. in the, in music. It was, they used to do that even, believe it or not, with, uh, with the old school music, like with the old school rock or whether it be Sinatra and those guys, believe it or not, they were, they were what? I'm, I'm, if they performed, the local cops would show up, oh, say wow. that it was profane in some way. Profanity. Like, like it wasn't new to hip hop, but I'm sure hip hop took it another notch. Yeah. I'm sorry to change the subject, but I just performed for Fat Joe. Big up the Fat Joe. You got the key in the city, right? Okay. Big up the Fat Joe. I get off stage. There's five cops waiting for me. For you. So I get on stage and they're like, you know, we could get a photo. <laughs> and I'm oh. like, I'm calling this the no warrant photo. <laughs> right. I wanted to leave. So I, I'm just, I, I know I changed the subject. But <laughs> so let's just take the, the, the band aid off. <laughs> Ooh, let me have a drink. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm going to be honest with you. Mm-hmm. As a younger, I'm about to say citizen, but I don't think that's the correct word. Like, nice shirt, Charlie. Um, <laughs> You see your shirt. <laughs> but as a younger, I'm gonna be honest with you, and this, this you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna think that I'm so naive, but I am, okay. and and I want to be. Okay, good. I didn't want to ever see you and Salt and Pepper have beef. Like, yeah. like I honestly, that hurt. damn, I'm almost tearing up a little that bit. That hurt. I'm almost. Yeah, it hurt me because damn, I am actually. Hold on, hold on. Let me get my life together. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah. Because y'all my childhood heroes. Yeah. Fuck my childhood. Y'all my heroes. Aww. So to see turmoil, period. Like I almost ignored it. As if it didn't happen. Expecting that it would just go right. away. Right. Because I was so like attached to y'all. Like I'm I'm so attached. I'm not attached to to Salt and Pepper without Spinderella. I'm sorry. I, okay. I apologize. I don't uh, I, I don't. I don't care what what people think. It's just how I see it. I didn't see the other Spinderella. God bless her. Mm-hmm. Um. Uh. I know she she's supposed to be first. Mm-hmm. But um. I didn't. I, I don't remember how she looked. I don't remember. All I remember is this. So when I got the word that it was any turmoil, I didn't remember what the turmoil was. But I remember me being sad. Yeah. And I remember me continuing to be sad. And then we 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 we, we booked this interview. I'm I'm watching these interviews and I'm seeing you. You know. Speaking your piece, and I still to this day I'm like, damn. What happened? Yeah, what happened? So, in your opinion, what was the first straw on the camel's back that you was like, damn, this is not right? I mean, I, I, generally speaking, when you you just grow up, mm-hmm. you just get to a point where things will not you will not be tolerated, and respect is should be mutual. Mm-hmm. And when respect is mutual, we can move and do whatever. Right. But when respect is not mutual, then it's, that's, you know, what are you here for? The bag? Mm. That don't last because I can do a bag without it. You mm. know what I'm saying? So growing up for me, you know, I mean, having my grandson changed me. Mm-hmm. Um, just seeing how the whole scope of hip hop is changing, just how things are, history is important. Like, mm-hmm. like, like being being in the history books is important. Yeah, mm-hmm. legacy is important. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, you just don't take bullshit anymore. When you mm-hmm. get to a certain point, it's done. And I I felt like if we don't have that mutual respect, it's not going to work. Mm-hmm. And so we needed we needed that we needed to do that. We needed to do that. And um, I know how people feel. Like, it does, it really hurt people. Like, no, I, that's, I'm one I mean, of them. A dag- like a dagger. I'm one of them. I had to just fight my tears. But you have to understand. No. Oh, uh, I, I'm sorry, uh, but get him a tissue. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm dead serious. I'm dead serious. I'm you not know, lying. It, it's like you just have to, it's bigger than this group. Like, right. it, it's life. It's like you just don't want to deal with, you know, shit that you, you know, don't have to. And we had to get some things straight and and we had to do it 
in a way that was not, you know, um, unfortunately it was publicized, uh, but it had to be because there was a lot of work. There was a lot of, you know, like everything from legalities involved and dissecting um, um, royalties and things like that. Mm. So all that has been dealt with. 